Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss uniform probability model. And we will also see whether our result is accurate or not. Now let us illustrate it. Now suppose we have a spinner with digits 1 to 8 marked on it. Now here, each digit has equal chances of coming on a spinner. So it is a uniform probability model. Now let us find the probability of spinning a number greater than 5. Now for finding the actual probability, we will conduct an experiment. Here, let us spin the wheel 100 times and note down the readings. Then, we saw that we spun a number greater than 5 39 times. Now let us check whether this result is reasonable or not. Here, the experimental probability of getting a number greater than 5 is equal to 39 upon 100 which is equal to 0 0.39 Now let us find the theoretical probability of getting a number greater than 5 Now when we spin a spinner then the chances of getting a number greater than 5 are 3 that is getting a number 8, getting a number 6 and getting a number 7. So here number of favorable outcomes are 3 and total number of outcomes are 8. So the theoretical probability of getting a number greater than 5 is 3 upon 8 which is equal to 0.37 Now here the experimental probability is 0.39 and theoretical probability is 0.37 This means both the actual and expected probabilities are close to each other so the result drawn is reasonable Now let us discuss another example Now suppose in a class there are 39 students now a student is to be selected now here each student has equal chance of being selected so the probability P of any one student to be selected is equal to 1 upon 39. So, there is equal probability of each student to be selected which gives us a uniform probability model. Now if there are 12 girls and 27 boys in the class then probability P of selecting a girl is equal to the number of favorable outcomes which is 12 upon the total number of outcomes which is 39 so this is equal to 0.30 now let us compare it with actual experiment now in this experiment a teacher selects a student at random 
Suppose she did 50 trials and in these 50 trials she chose a girl 14 times. So here the experimental probability of getting a girl is equal to 14 upon 50 which is equal to 0 0.28. Now this experimental probability which is 0 0.28 is very close to the expected probability which is 0 0.30. So in a uniform probability model the experimental and theoretical probabilities are quite close to each other. And if we increase the number of trials then experimental probability will become equal to theoretical probability. Now suppose one of the student in the class is Jane. Now the probability P that Jane is selected will be equal to 1 upon 39 which is equal to 0 0.025. Also if in an experiment out of 50 trials A teacher chose Jane twice. Then here the experimental probability will be equal to 2 upon 50 which is equal to 0 0.04. Now again the two probabilities are close to each other in a uniform probability model. So, in a uniform probability model, all the items have equal chances of being selected. So, in this session we have learnt about uniform probability model. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.